Shillong's colonial history evokes a sense of curiosity as the remnants of what once was still remain visible today, one of them being the heritage structures that enwrap the city of Shillong. In this episode of Shillong's Iconic Structures, we will look at the history of the old Meghalaya Legislative Assembly building located at Kandailad. The foundation stone of the main structure was laid by the second governor of Assam, Sir William Sinclair Morris, on September 28, 1921. According to an article written by the former secretary of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly, T. Kaji, before 1921, the composite Assam Council would sit at the Rajbhavan Hall, but the government insisted that the new council meet in a building consistent with its dignity and importance. The Heritage Building is known to have housed the Composite Assam Assembly since 1937. According to an article written by B. Datta Ray in 2019, the land where the main structure stands was called Ing Pot Site which included a play field for local boys of Jail Road and Thana Road of Shillong. The old building was a marvel in itself. Wooden in structure, its designs and architecture were similar to other heritage buildings in the city. It housed approximately 26 to 27 rooms of different shapes and sizes like rooms for the ruling and opposition parties, the speakers and deputy speakers chamber, chambers for the chief minister and leader of opposition, the secretary's chamber, the assembly reporter's room and the officer's rooms all connected to the two-storied session hall through a passage. Like many heritage structures in the city, the assembly too houses a big lawn with a lamp pole at the center and is surrounded on all sides by the above mentioned rooms. The lawn is one of the few parts of the building that was left untouched by the ravaging fire of 2001. One of the priceless jewels of the old assembly building was its library. The circular shaped room with an inverted cone like rooftop had a huge collection of books including proceedings and debates of the House of Commons and House of Lords. Over the years, many changes and renovations were made to the building. From its seating arrangements to the sound system, all of these were unfortunately destroyed in the fire of 2001. On the evening of January 9, 2001, the fire reportedly broke out in room number 13, which was occupied by the personal secretary to the speaker. The fire reduced this iconic building to ashes within a few hours, concurrently turning the Shillong sky into crimson red. As you can see now, ne? what is left is the uh, room where the speaker sits, that is the opposition party room. And then uh, next where the deputy speaker sits, that is the uh, committee committee room. So committee, committee is used to hold meeting in, the, uh, in that room where deputy speaker sits. Okay. So those were the main rooms which were left out by the fire. Nah? And you can see the lawn as well. Nah? The lawn is still preserved. And many important books, documents were lost in the fire. Nah? Here are the few rooms that were left untouched by the fire. The wooden corridor with attached rooms and the current deputy speaker's room on the eastern wing of the building and the speaker's room at the center. Though the interior of these rooms were renovated, the exterior remains just as it was from yesteryear. Did you know that in 1972, the sessions of the first house were not convened in the old structure? The first house of 60 members assembled for the first time on March 25, 1972 at the old council hall, an Assam-type structure located next to the Presbyterian church that currently houses the assembly library. election. The Kateka main building jong ka nika assembly po kandila na pe kampalay na mga dang occupy ka asamu kato kapo. The ngi ngi mik na ka sarkar na kato kapo ka kamik ka kinsa makeshift arrangements ka panlong na na mga kalay ka tika ka building ang tihan nang kapo ka lalong tanga ka high court. The ngi panlong yung assembly ang to wala na ka kamiyar ang review manage somehow when fit in all the 60 members to be there to debate <laughs> just like an assembly natural pakka assembly then they, the space was very small the space was very small not convenient at all okay 
the, if I have my own wish, I would have wished that that space in the in the Thailand would have continued to be the assembly. That would have been an ideal space for an assembly. No? The state assembly moved to the imposing wooden structure only in 1973 when the Assam assembly vacated the building. One may be unaware that the present assembly library housed the All India Radio Station and the Gohati High Court Shillong Bench as well. This old Assam type structure served as the old council hall built originally for 36 councillors. It was built sometime back in 1935. At present, the old structure constitutes the Assembly Secretariat while the House proceedings are convened at the Arts and Culture Auditorium within the premises of Brookside Bungalow in Rilbong. The new Assembly building is in progress at Maodyangdyang and is most likely to be completed by next year, 2023. Though most parts of the old structure were destroyed in the devastating fire which broke out on January 9, 2001, the memories of what transpired in the house still remain fresh. As we, as everyone feels, I mean, anything which is old, grand, you know, it has got its own value. You know, and nothing can replace with any new modern architecture. So we, we, we really feel the loss of the old assemblies building. But at the same time, well, I mean, we still have the, um, the library building, you know, where it was once a legislative council. Structures which uh, needs to be preserved and nothing can replace with any modern architecture the importance and value of uh, of the buildings. Okay? Mm.